okay now we go to uh, we we do the sacrament for nine uh, nine eleven which is uh, to use more circle so basically we have done this before sigma x equal to plus one hundred fifty one hundred fifty megapascal sigma y equals to hundred plus hundred megapascal uh, tau x y equals to plus seventy five megapascal and your theta your the 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 new rotation is sixty degree okay. So you want to use more circle to find what happened to the state of stress at this point. Okay. So the more circle, basically you need to draw sigma and tau axis, right? Uh, but uh, before doing that, I, I think we you can find the the points first. What are the points? The center of the circle and the reference point. Okay. So the center of circle you need to find your average, sigma average. Okay, average normal force and uh, normal stress, sorry. Which is sigma s plus sigma y by, uh, divided by two, which is one hundred fifty plus uh, sigma y, which is hundred divided by two, which will give you one hundred twenty-five megapascal. So from here, you know your center of your Mohr circle is one hundred one hundred twenty-five for sigma tau is zero. Okay. And another one is your reference point. Let's name it as probably a. So A is sigma x tau x1. Okay. So your A is sigma x is 150 megapascal. Tau x1 is plus 75 megapascal. Okay. Now you have these two points, C and A, you can plot uh, start plotting the Mohr circle. Okay. So <coughs> this is your sigma x is megapascal. Okay. And this is your Tau x is megapascal. Okay, where where are those points? C is here. Okay, one two five o. Oh. Right? Oh, just I can just put it as one two five. Okay, let 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 let's do two one two five o. Oh. Okay, this is C, the center of the circle. A is one fifty seventy five, which is one fifty right one two five one six fifty seventy five going down. Okay, that's why tau going down. Uh, sigma to the to the to the right, so it is somewhere here, which is which is point A, uh, the reference point sigma x tau x y, alright. So from this C and A, you can draw your okay roughly something like that. Well, of course. Uh, Okay. Okay. From this more circle, what do you want to do? After this, okay. After this, what you have to do is you need to find the this radius. Okay. This radius. What is the radius? Then you need to know. Of obviously, this is seventy five, right? This is seventy five. Okay. This is, because this is the coordinate of the tau seventy five. But how about this? Then this is one fifty minus one thirty five, isn't it? Okay, so this is seventy-five, and this one is one fifty minus twenty-five, which is twenty-five. You got me. One twenty-five plus twenty-five. Isn't it? You got one fifty. So this is twenty-five, uh, seventy-five. So your R, this radius between C and A, is how much? The radius equals to twenty-five square plus seventy-five square, and we get okay. And you got seventy-nine point two six megapascal. Okay, so this R is seventy-nine point two six. This R. All right. Okay. Then, what do we want to do? We want to rotate this. 60 degree, isn't it? This element we want to rotate 60 degree counterclockwise. So, from this point A, reference point A, you will rotate this point A with, of course, from uh, by the center to A, you rotate this. How much? 60 degree times two, right? You remember, uh, the angle in the the state of stress is theta. And then when you represent this in the Mohr circle, it is two theta. Okay, you have to represent by two theta. So basically, you need to rotate this by one hundred twenty. Definitely, it will go beyond this sigma axis. So it will go up. 
right? In this case, when we rotate this 120 degree, it will go to this point. Let's say this is point P. So we need to, part, to find what is sigma x prime here, tau x prime y prime here. Okay, this coordinate. And that will be will give your your, your new uh, stresses. Okay, so you need to rotate this how much? 120, 120 degree. Okay? Which is 2 theta 120 degree. Right? This one is 2 theta equals to 120 degree. Okay. Alright, so how to do this? What is the idea? If the idea is to have this, you know this radius, right? 79. If you know the angle between theta, theta exists, uh, sorry, sigma exists with with P, okay, with C P, okay, and then you can find your sigma x prime tau x tau y prime because sigma x prime is basically this and this, right? And tau x prime y prime is this. Isn't it? But in order to do that, because you know this is 120, and then actually you can find this angle by actually you subtract 120 with this angle, isn't it? This angle. So what is this angle? This triangle. You see this triangle, the one at the bottom, right? Uh, where you have uh, 25, 75, and this angle, is it? 30 degree, and then you have this rectified angle. Name it, I mean, just put any name, for instance, you can use phi or theta or whatever, right? So from this, your ten tangent theta equals to 75 over 25, isn't it? So you, you can get your theta, your theta, so phi, phi equals to uh, 71.56 degree, okay? So if this is 71.56, so this is what? So you have another triangle, okay? This is uh, sigma exists, right? So this is C, this is P, okay? I should put this by the way, C, and this is A, okay? C, A, C, P, so this is C, P, right? This is R, uh, which is how much R? 79, or 6. So this one, okay, phi, phi, equals to 120 minus this 71.56 so you got this phi as 38.40 degree alright ok why do you want to have this angle because if you, uh, you have this angle and you already had the the what do you call this uh, the, the radius right the radius of the circle so you can find what is this line, okay, A, what is this line B, okay, so for A, it is, what's that, cosine phi equals to A over 76.0, 79.06, so A equals to 79.06 cosine 48.43, okay, which is, Okay. Okay. J just leave it like that. Okay. For now, I don't want to calculate. Okay. And your B. Okay. Sine. Sine. Sine this right. Sine phi. So you got seventy six. Uh. Point oh six. Set. So seventy nine point oh six. Sine phi, which is forty eight point four three. I mean, you can hit the calculator and find the values, right? But what I really want to show here is. Okay. Once you got this. You will you can get your sigma x prime y prime because this is your sigma x prime y prime this one point p so your point p is sigma x prime y prime isn't it uh, sorry so x prime tau x y x prime y prime right so your sigma x prime is how much look at this this is 125 isn't it plus a this a this a so it is 125 because this p is the coordinate i mean the coordinate of p is sigma x prime and tau x prime y prime okay sigma x prime is the sigma coordinate of that which is 125 plus a a is plus 79.06 cosine 48.43 okay 
and then from this you get your sigma x prime as 177.46 megapascal which is the same as what you have done with your uh, equation okay and your tau x prime y prime will be how much this b isn't it okay so this b which is 79.46 uh, okay sine so it becomes minus 79.46 sine 48.43 degree why minus what why minus b because you see this is tau zero tau positive and tau zero tau negative right so this coordinate of tau is negative right though the length is b 79.46 times 48 but this is negative coordinate right so your tau x prime y prime will be negative uh 59 I hope I have bigger. I wish I have a bigger whiteboard. Okay, so this is the state of which is the same, right? The, with the the your the uh, the one that you solve by using equation. Okay, but that one is the one that you are going to rotate sixty degree, right? Okay, from this space you rotate it sixty degree. How about this space that you rotate? I mean, when you rotate sixty degree, the, the, this space what happened to that? So that one will be will be this okay this is p you see between this surface and this surface is 90 isn't it so in the most of how much 90 times 2 isn't it so it becomes 180 degrees so this is your another point which is point q and this point q will give you basically what we call as sigma y prime tau x prime y prime okay, okay? So how much this? How much of this? How much of this? Basically, what you have to do is you do this, right? What is this angle? Okay. What is this angle? This little triangle, right? Which is this is the center. This is the point Q, right? And then ninety degree. And this is the angle. What is this angle? This angle is the same as this angle, isn't it? Which is this five. That forty eight point four three. Forty eight point four three. Isn't it? So you now you can do like uh, this is R cos seventy nine point four six and uh, let's let's name it as whatever uh, C or D. C and D, something like that. Okay. Okay, so your Q is sigma y prime tau x prime y prime, right? And then what are they? Of course, your your this one is PC 135 minus this, isn't it? Then you get this coordinate. Okay, so your sigma y prime is 125 okay, minus this. And then you will get this, which is the coordinate, isn't it? Okay, what is this? You have your R, you have this, you have the angle. So it is, uh, R is, how much? Just R, 79.06, okay, cosine the angle, phi, which is 48 point. So your sigma y prime you do the math of that okay solve that one you will get you will get it as plus 72.54 megapascal right this 72.54 megapascal okay right of course the tau x prime y prime in this case this one will be what will be the same like this but it is positive now 79.06 megapascal isn't it okay eh, sorry 59.5 59.5 megapascal okay but this one this time it is positive for q because it is here okay positive q a positive tau minus tau right and then what you have to do you have to 
to plot this on the plot you have to uh, sketch the orientation okay Can of orientation now? Same like before, actually. Simple as that. Initially, you have the x, right? It goes to x prime, which is 60 degree from x, isn't it? Theta equals to 60 degree, uh, counterclockwise, right? And on this surface, okay, from x, you see, x, reference point A, you go to uh, 60 degree, which is 120 degree in the most circle, you go to sigma x prime, tau x prime, prime all right? So, sigma x prime is this one, 177.5. Okay, so you have tension 177.5 megapascal, right? And then the sigma, the tau is minus 59, that's why it goes down minus 59.15 megapascal, isn't it? Why on the on another one, okay, you see, from point A to point Q, okay, which is this surface, right, from point A, which is uh, X to this axis, it is this direction, and then you reach sigma Y prime, which is 59, so, well, actually, you can do this as well, it doesn't matter, okay, if you do from X to this, and then it becomes uh, 150, for instance, because it's from x to this y, okay, which is 150, okay, 60 plus 90, right? And then what you have, you will have your 59, 59 megapascal, okay? And then you complete the element, of course you have 59 here, we have uh, 177.5, that's right here. And then of course, uh, even you look here, you see? Your tau x prime y prime here, it is plus, isn't it? That's why it goes here. I, I mean, of course, it's complementary, but that's why here you see it goes up, okay, from this x to y, okay, and then the rest. I mean, for this you have this one, and for this you have this one, right? So this is your uh, final state of stress when you rotate it ninety degree counterclockwise.